Hey everyone. So I'm going to make a real quick YouTube video on how to put smoke ping into a Docker container because I could not find a good walkthrough on how to do it and it was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Um, what we're going to be doing is we have a orange pie, which is an alternative to Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pis are so expensive and really hard to find right now. And I bought this off Amazon for like a third of the price and I've been playing with it for a couple weeks now. And out of curiosity, I thought I'd put smoke paint and a Docker container on it. So let's get started. Uh, I ran Docker version just to justify that I have Docker installed on this machine. So let me clear the screen. Now first, uh, because I got other Docker containers running, I'm going to be running smoke ping on a different port number than its default, which is port 80. So first what I have to do is create a network for it to work on it's inside of Docker. So I'm going to run docker network create and I'm going to name this smoke ping smoke ping and I'm going to spell create there we go and that tells me it was created so now to run the docker container is going to take a couple of different arguments so what I usually do for a situation like this is I open up notepad and paste it in and work on it in there first so let me show you what I have and then I have to tell it to go to the smoke ping network and then here I tell it to be on port 880 and then the rest of this is where it's going to store its data at and where it's going to store the config file at and this is telling it's running on the server smoke ping so now that I have all my arguments together what I'll do is I will all. and then I would go back to my Linux browser and I'll simply just paste it all. It's going to ask if I'm sure and I'm going to hit it. And I just ran it earlier so it didn't take very long but if you haven't ran this already it's going to show that it's pulling everything from Docker as it goes and then finally you look at this number when it's successfully ran. Now this has been up for a while so now what I will do is I will go to a web browser. When you type in the local address for service run on, it's going to go straight to smoking. And in this situation, it's been up for a while, so there's already some information on this chart here. But that's basically how it works. And you can set it up and let it run for a little while and get some more information about your network. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I probably should have started this at the end of the video, but Smoke Ping is a latency measurement tool, which provides a web UI to view results. And Smoke Ping can measure, store, and display latency, latency distribution, and packet loss on your network. So it's a great tool if you're having network issues for you to kind of monitor the network before going to your internet service provider to complain about it. Thank you guys.